Hello everybody, this is Mario2000 welcoming you back with more Super Mario Sunshine. In the last part, we finished off Rico Harbor, is that right? Yeah, it is. Okay. Except for the 8th mission, but we can't do that yet, so... Anyway, we're going to be going on to the next world, which is over here by the lighthouse. Anyway, let's head off into... Gelato Beach! Gelato means ice cream in Italian, actually, so it's like ice cream beach, which is kind of neat. Episode 1, Dude Bud Sandcastle Secret. We're already starting out with a secret mission, which is kind of odd, but I think it's the only one that does that, but whatever. Oh, what? Come on. Okay. Anyway, these are cataclacts. Um, if you get near them, they'll fling you up in the air like that. The blue ones won't hurt you, but the red ones will. And you can spray them with you can spray them with water and they'll get stunned or whatever and then you can pound them into the ground that, well they'll they won't get stunned like that if they're like in the grass or anything though so you'll have to whatever anyway is this the right one yeah yeah it is so anyway what you gotta do is make it to the sand castle before it shrinks down which isn't hard to do really also, the blue coin I got from the Cataclack, I think you can only get that in one of the first few missions. Like, it's not in later missions, is what I'm saying. Like, I think it's in missions like 2 and 3, but I don't think it's past any missions past that. So anyway, this mission's not too hard. It introduces these sand blocks, though, which start to disappear when you jump on them. So you basically have to keep moving. These are especially annoying in another secret mission later. <clears throat> so I have my voice count sounds kind of weird and kind of... I don't know. I don't really know if it's cold or not, but I think it kind of is. I seem to always get, like, at least, like, somewhat sick during Christmas. Which kind of... Anyway. Hmm. Hang on one second, let me take a drink. <clears throat> so, yeah, let's... Yeah. I don't really know what, what to talk about, really. I'm also kind of recording this early in the morning, so... I, I'm, I don't know. I, it's kind of an opportune time, so I thought, why not? Anyway, Mirror Madness, Tilt Slam Bam, kind of... A, Kind of a weird title name, but, you know. Anyway, when you start this mission, this guy's basically going to tell you that there's this sand bird that's, like, sleeping or whatever. Or, like, it's, like, in the, I don't really know. But these mirrors are supposed to, like, give it sunlight, but there's these, I think they're called plungelos on the mirrors that it, it's making the mirrors go, like, I guess you could say haywire, but I don't really... Well, if I use that term exactly. Oh, come on. Oh, so, but, yeah, basically you just gotta defeat all of them. And there's one with one, one with two, and one with three, if you didn't see that already. Anyway, to defeat the plungelos, you just get them up to the edge of the mirror. Then you go to the opposite end and ground pound them. They fly off. The ones with the one with one is ridiculously easy, obviously, but with the ones with more than one but the other two, like if you're spraying a plungelo, the other ones will try to attack you, so it gets kind of annoying to do after the first one. Well you can do these in any order, I'm just doing them in like, you know, one, two, three, kind of in I guess you could say numeric order, but I don't know. So yeah, dealing with more than one could be somewhat of a hassle, but at the same time, it's not too bad. Oh, blah. why did I do that? Oh, what? Come on. So yeah, um, what's what's been going on with you guys lately? I guess. Um, Actually, I completed kind of a goal that I had set for a while in Mario Kart 7. I, as far as I know, I own the, I'm not sure if it's really the world record, but for what I have on my day, I have the fastest time for the Waluigi Pinball Course. 
which I, I've been trying to do that for a while, so that's kind of a big accomplishment for me since I've never really had the... Like, I didn't really play Time Trial. That's really the first time I've really played Time Trial, like, that competitively, really, was in Mario Kart 7. I think I, like, I tried it out in, like, the other, like, mainly Mario Kart Wii, but I was never really that competitive about it. it in, or, like, I tried it too late, so there weren't really... Like, the records were really high, so I couldn't really... So I just had no chance for that, but... Also, I have a record for the Makaluhu course, but I'm not really counting that, because it's... The, like, there's a glitch in that course that I use. I guess it's le I guess it's quote-unquote legal to do that, but... I don't know. Like, the, top, the guy who had the top record previously did that, so I'm assuming that you can do that. But whatever. So anyway, the shine heads all the way over there. I don't really know why, but they like to stick the shine all the way over there. Just to annoy you, I guess. They do that for, like, the next shine, too. They move it all the way over here. Which is kind of inconvenient, if you think about it. Whatever. Hmm. <clears throat> Episode 3, Wiggler Ahoy, full steam ahead. This is the, I think this is the only boss battle of this world, but at the same time, you know, it's at least, it's at least a unique boss, so, you know. So anyway, to defeat Wiggler, what you've got to do is you've got to squirt these plants. <laughs> you've got to, like, squirt these plants when he's near them. Like, I don't know if that's going to get him. Yeah, it will. To make him either run, to make him like run into them, and then you've got to pound his the bot, part of his body with the arrow. For right? so the first two hits, you want to use either this one or I think that one like right over there. That because that those are the two he'll go near. But then for the third hit, you want to switch to either that one or the one. I think there's one over on like one of these little outcrops. I guess you could say or something. I don't know. Like, I think there's another one somewhere over there. Also, what's weird is that for the... I'm not sure if he'll do it or not. I'll wait and see if he does. So, really, he's not a hard boss. So, I shouldn't really have too much trouble. I remember having trouble with this, though, when I was a kid. Because I didn't know what you were supposed to do. Or something stupid like that. And I had to ask my cousin for help. And what the hell? Oh yeah, I guess that goes to show how skilled I was at video games back then. He, yeah, he's doing it right now. He's like climbing on the mountain. I don't really know why he does that, but... Yeah. It's kind of... Like, I th you have to actually like go over here to like get him to stop doing that or something. I don't know how he gets to... Like, how he gets to go up onto the mountain. Yeah, there's no there. I don't really know how he gets to do that, but, like, it's kind of weird. Because he, like, once you move over to him, he changes to this, to his pattern that he should have. Well, oh, I didn't get him. Come on. Okay, come on. He's coming. There he is. Whoa. Whoa. He also goes, like, really far under the water, too, so it's kind of sort of not really difficult to reach him maybe sort of I don't know but yeah he's dead like like most bosses three hits not really anything too special so yeah just there's really not much to talk about in this mission but there probably will be like a lot to talk about in the next mission so yeah Episode 4, The Sandbird is Born. This mission is notorious for being, like, for being a really difficult mission, which it... I don't know, it's not bad, but, you know, it could... Like, I don't know. So anyway, what you've got to do is just go over here... Oh, what? You've got to go over here and just... Okay, what was it? Okay. Now you're supposed they want you to climb like up onto the up up to like the top over there and slide down onto the trampoline, but you can just like go over to these mirrors and jump over to the trampoline so you don't so it's kind of a quicker way to do that. Anyway, this 
this is kind of a secret mission, but at the same sense, you get to keep Flood, so it's, you know. Now, this is also an 8 red coin mission, and it's really annoying just because this physics, like, it's kind of hard to stay on the sand bird, especially since, like, if you jump, you move, like, a little bit or something. It's kind of just hard to do. Also, if that weren't no annoying enough, there's actually four blue coins on the sand bird. Oh, I died. Yeah, there's four blue coins in this level, too, so as if completing this weren't hard enough, you have to get the four blue coins in this mission, too, so good luck. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to die a lot of times. I'm not, I won't be surprised if I get a game over on this level. Well, I probably won't, but... Oh, come on. Oh, boy. Come on. Get the blue coin. Thank you. Yes. Okay. There's one up right there, but, you know. There's the second blue coin. Come on, get it. Thank you. Oh, come on. Get back up. Okay. It's kind of hard to get back up. I'm surprised I managed to do it this far. Now, when you see, like, the third blue coin coming to come in, he's going to, like, change to the side. So, like, he's going to move to the side so that he can get, like, more height. So, the fourth blue coin is, like, after this. So, also this means that you're almost done because there's seven blue coins on the sandbird and then there's one in the central, on top of the central, like, column. Oh, boy. Am I actually going to do this? I think I'm going to do this. Probably shouldn't be jinxing myself, but... I don't know. Okay, where's the last blue coin? I saw it, I think. Gotta just... Maybe... Yeah, I think the zoom out kind of helps a little bit. Okay, come on, get it. Oh, no. I'm dead. Unless I can get back up, which I don't think I can. Now, I think the sandbird does come back around, but, you know, it's easier to just die. So I'm going to meet you back up here. Yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And we're almost at the top. So, this is, getting, this is also going to be the last shine that I get for this episode. So, I guess... Next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we're gonna continue with Gelato Beach. I want to be die right now. Also, just as a precaution, I would recommend getting the, sh the coin from this side just as a precaution so you don't fall off the platform. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!